Now, while I'm talking with you on uh, Tullahoma TV, I do want to talk about Arnold Engineering Development Center. I have worked with uh, Secretary Shu there at the Air Force. We got, on top of everything else, we've gotten over over right at $139 million for Arnold in fiscal 22, getting that money designated for Arnold. Got an extra $18 million working with Secretary Shu. We uh, have been very aggressive in what will be there for Arnold uh, as we gear Arnold up. It is going to be complementary to Space Force that is down in Huntsville. Uh, the work that needed to be done on upgrades on the ARC heater, uh, making certain that testing is there for autonomous vehicles, for hypersonics. Uh, we are looking at a very healthy upgrade. And it has been such an honor to lead that work and to work with the AEDC community to make certain that their needs are met. So we've had a great fiscal 22 for Arnold and the money that is going in there. And we are looking forward equally to that as we finish the NDAA. There is $3.68 billion in the 23 NDAA that Arnold will get a portion of that money for upgrades that are needed. And like I said, we've gotten $139 million headed that way in 22. Arnold grows in its important, and it is important that at Senate Armed Services Committee and working with House Armed Services Committee and Congressman Desjardins that we've been able to elevate this with our colleagues. And I do hope that all of your viewers will truly stay in touch with us. We do a weekly newsletter and the Blackburn Report goes out every Friday and people can go to our website, blackburn.senate.gov and keep up with the work that we are doing. See what we're working on that is actually going to benefit and help move forward the work that is being done there at, Ar at Arnold. See the amendments that we are putting in place that are protecting our military. So stay in touch with us. You can follow me on social media and you'll find me there at Marsha Blackburn. Thank you so much for letting me pop by today.